Hello everyone and welcome to our holiday edition of Domestically Challenge. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make one of my holiday favorites, the Melting Snowman Sugar Cookie. Now this recipe is really easy and it looks pretty cool when you're done with it. So you can trick everyone into thinking that you're quite the baker if you are not. And if you are, this is just another fun thing for you to do. The first thing you'll need are sugar cookies. I used one of those packets where everything comes pre-mixed and you only need an egg and butter. You can make them yourself too and there'll be a recipe on our website. Um, but if not, this saves time and it's very cheap. Um, you'll need some vanilla icing. I just got the same kind of the can. Um, once again, you can make your own. Um, I got marshmallows and I bought a pack of the variety color icing to do the decorations. Make sure you have a black color in there because you're going to need that for the nose, the mouth, and the arms. Also, this is a little secret that I like to use in my baking. It's cream of tartar and if you use just a little bit, it makes your cookie come out crunchy. Now you can remember that for um, pie crusts and anything like that. So what I did first, um, what I've found in icing things before, is that it's kind of hard to you know, take the icing out, put it on the cookie, and make it look nice. So this method you could also use for icing cupcakes, cakes, anything you want. If you put the icing into a plastic bag and then twist it around so it looks like it'll come out of one corner, you do that and then you cut off top of the corner as much as you want if you want a little bit or a lot to come out. So just snip this part off here and then you have one of your own decorating tools so you don't have to go out and buy any of that. So what you start doing is icing the cookie first. And make sure you go all around. Um, it's okay if it's not spread out or flattened. Like I said they're melted snowman cookies so I think it looks kind of cool when it does look melted. All right, once you finish icing the cookie you're going to put in the head of the snowman. Now I like to cut part of it off because it kind of gives it that melting effect when you put it on the cookie. So you just take scissors or a knife and cut off about one third of the marshmallow and you can even do it on an angle um, you can get creative with it. And you stick it right into the cookie. And now the icing is going to act as a glue when the icing hardens so you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything happening. Next what we're going to do is decorate the cookie. Um, this is a part where if you didn't have marshmallows or you didn't want to go this in depth, you could just um, take the icing, make a snowflake, make a sand hat, anything you want. But I'm going to show you exactly what I did to make the design on the snowman cookie. I used the same icing in a bag trick to do some of the markings on it. The black gel icing that I had, I accidentally bought gel, and so it's kind of runny, and I cut off the top of the uh, packet too much, so too much would come out at once. To solve that, all you have to do, again, is put a little bit of icing in the corner of a bag and just snip off the top just a little bit so you can really design with it. So a little bit comes off. And first I'm going to do the face of the snowman. And you can get creative with this. You can make it happy, sad, make it look upset that it's melting. Um, that's what I like to do. So if you put two little eyes on it, and then you can make its mouth. And I'm going to make this one frightened that it is melting into the rest of the cookie. All right, so once you have that on there, it's time to do the rest of the snowman. I didn't have orange. I had yellow and red, so I used the icing in a bag trick one more time, and I mixed the colors together. So now I didn't have to go out and buy any extra icing colors. Mixed it myself because I'm only using this little bit. So once again, you cut off the top of the bag and draw your nose on the snowman for the little carrot. And you just kind of go for it. Okay, so there he goes. He looks like he's melting and he's afraid. So there we go. And next it's time to do the rest of the decorations. Um, some of them have buttons, some of them have scarves. You can kind of put wherever you want on there. So I'm going to make his arms first. Again using the black icing. Also if you had chocolate icing you could use that as well. Um, just something dark. So we're going to put those like that. You can draw his little hands and then seam on the other side. And see how this bag is really great for drawing because you have a lot of control over where the icing is going. Okay, so there it goes. There's his arms and now we're going to decorate the rest of him. Now here's another trick. If you're finding that your icing is really soft and it's getting sticky, throw your cookies in the refrigerator for about half hour. 
the icing will harden up and it'll be a lot easier to draw your design on it. So we're going to make him a little scarf. Now you just squeeze the icing around. Very simple. It's okay if it gets messy too. This is why this cookie is great because he's melting into the snow so no one expects it to be perfect. So once you get that around there, then you can draw the other part of the scarf. Um, I have some of my cookies too. I've alternated different colors. Um, you can really get creative and add, you know, a tassel at the end of the scarf, anything like that. If you wanted, um, also, if you wanted to make him like a hat or something like that, you could use the icing again as glue, put a cookie on top, make him a little hat. Um, you could carve around the marshmallow to kind of play with that. And so now he just needs some buttons. So I'm going to use one of the other colors. Put some yellow on. And just three dots right down the middle. And there you go. You have a melting snowman sugar cookie. Very easy, very quick, takes no time, and they look really awesome when you're bringing them to family party, friend party, anything like that. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Domestically Challenged.